Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabub.com coming to you from a very sunny Sarasota, Florida. My husband and I are down here for just a few more days soaking up the sun. Today I have a special treat for you. The Totally Techniques design team is going to be doing a blog hop using the split front technique. Now this is a card layout that's a little bit different and I had so much fun creating my cards for you today. I'm going to be using the Kite Delight stamp set. I've really been struggling with my lighting here so please be patient. I know I've got a lot of glare in my glasses and I've turned off the lights. I've done all kinds of things. I don't know. I'm not in my home studio. This Kite Delight stamp set is so much fun. I've got a few other cards on my blog. You'll find those. And um, I'm going to be combining that with the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. This is free, but only through Tuesday, February 28th, which e with each $50 that you spend, we have a celebration promotion going on. You get to choose some free items. You can get a pack of six by six designer series paper. You get 48 sheets in here, absolutely free. And these are such fun, bright colors and patterns. I love them. So when we get to the end of this video, you're going to find a link in the top right corner. It's not there now, but it will be at the end of the video. That is gonna take you directly to my blog where you can look for some little thumbnail graphics. They're gonna be little tiny pictures in a row. You can click on those to then hop to the next blog and see what my other design team members in this group have made using the split front technique. I always love seeing lots of ideas with the same technique, with the same card layout, because it really gets your creativity flowing. Let's flip this camera around and I'm gonna show you a couple really cute cards and then you can join in on the blog hop. We are going to be using the Sunshine and Rainbows Designer Series paper. This comes in a pack. I believe there are 48 sheets, six by six. This paper is so pretty and so happy that I thought it would go great with the Kite Delight stamp set. And the name of the card that we're going to be making today, the technique is called a split front card. I'm going to bring in my cardstock layers here. First of all, I have a basic white five and a half by eight and a half. This is our thick basic white cardstock. It's scored at four and a quarter. Then I've got a scrap of basic white. I've got two half inch strips of magenta madness. I chose to use this particular pattern of designer series paper, and I have cut this at four by five and a quarter. I've also got so saffron at four by five and a quarter, an envelope and a piece of designer paper that is two and a half by six. So the first thing I want to do here is the split front card technique. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. Now, for the first one that you make, you're going to want to get out your ruler and a pencil. But after we get done making this part of the card, you're going to have a template that's going to make it super easy to make more of these. And I know you're going to want to make more of them because they're so fun. So on this left side over here, we're going to put a little mark a half an inch down from the top, and then we're gonna put another mark at three quarters of an inch. We're gonna go over to the other side and we're going to put a mark at three inches. And we're going to measure across the bottom and put a mark at three inches. Now I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. And we are going to cut from this top mark down to this mark. So I'm just gonna line those up in my paper trimmer channel and cut that. Then we're going to cut from the second mark down to this mark over here. 
and that makes that split front technique. And I move just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So let me get these out of the way. So this is what we just did. This was our four by five and a quarter inch piece. Okay. So this piece right here, we're going to remove and we can now use this as a template. And I would recommend that you write on there template. So you'll know not to throw that piece away. Now these other pieces, if I have any pencil marks on them, I'm going to erase them right now. And I just saw a couple little ones. Then we're going to bring in our designer series paper. Now I like to use one of our piercing mats. I've wrapped it with printer weight paper and taped it on the back. This is what I use to stamp on, to put my cards together on so that I don't get glue all over or ink all over on my desktop surface. I've got our liquid glue here. This is my favorite adhesive. I like it because it gives me some wiggle room if I need to straighten something out. So I'm gonna put this, oh, oh, I forgot something. We've got these two half inch strips. Don't forget your two half inch strips. Okay, so I just got glue all over the place. Hang on. I just went and grabbed a baby wipe so I can wipe this off so my cards don't stick to it. Darn it. Okay, so we've got this piece over here. Now what I meant to do, instead of putting glue all over it, I meant to put glue right along this edge that we cut and we're gonna add this to our magenta madness, just like this. And I just want a very tiny little bit of that sticking out on this edge. And then I'm gonna find my scissors, here they are. And we're going to just trim that off. I didn't get that very straight, did I? I don't wanna see that on this edge. There we go. And trim this off, just like that. Now we're gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna set this over here. Make sure I've got the right piece, yep. We're gonna do the same thing to the cut edge on this one with our strip of magenta. You want to make sure that you're putting it down far enough from the end of this strip so that you have room to cut it off at the angle. That looks really good. Make sure that I'm getting this even. And then I just use my So Saffron cardstock as a cutting guide. There we go. Okay. Now we can glue this. So this piece is gonna go on here. I'll put a little, little more glue on here because my glue is dried by now. And I'm gonna line this up right at the top of our designer paper. So this is gonna cover up the designer paper on the top and the bottom. And this other piece goes right over here. Now this whole layout of this card just reminded me of a kite. And that's why I picked the cute Kite Delight stamp set because I knew that this would go along with that really well. Okay, so here is our card. Now, I'm gonna grab our card base. Wasn't that easy? Split front technique. I thought this was really, really fun. I'm gonna grab my bone folder and get that folded. Then I grabbed a piece of this designer series paper and I thought this would be really pretty just as a little border on the inside of my card. And of course you can stamp a sentiment on the inside of your card if you would like, but I'm gonna leave mine blank for right now. Sometimes I just like to leave the cards blank on the inside and then when I need the card and know what I need it for, I will be able to grab a sentiment and add it in there. But that's just a real pretty little border in there. And then we're going to stick our card 
front right on our card. There we go. I see I've got a little, little piece hanging out here. There we go. Okay, isn't that cute? All right, now, one thing I just broke my golden rule. I always like to stamp before I glue anything together, and I got so excited about the layout that I kind of lost my mind. <laughs> so we are going to do our best, and I love that this stamp set is the see-through rubber, our photopolymer. Oops, you see what I just did there? So that I can see to stamp this straight, and I just want this to be right down in here. That turned out great, so I was really lucky. Count my lucky stars. And then, oh, we're gonna grab our scrap of basic white and the kite image, and this is the um, Magenta Madness ink. And I'm gonna stamp this right on here. That looks, oh, I kind of smeared it on the bottom there. Let's try that again. That looks better. And the little tails. I'm gonna grab the kite tails and I'm gonna stamp these right over here. Now we're gonna do a little bit of fussy cutting, but don't fret because this kite is super easy to cut out. We've just got some really nice straight lines. I like to leave a little bit of a white border around the edge when I cut something out. And get it out of this paper so you don't have to fight with it. Get it out of the middle of there and make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Then I'm going to cut out, I want two or three of these tails. So I'm just going to, again, cut these out. They're fairly simple. And now we're ready to add these to our card front. I'm going to grab my Baker's Twine Essential Pack. This comes with five different colors of Baker's Twine. And I'm gonna grab my white and cut off a length. And then I'm going to add it to the back of my kite. And I'm just going to grab a little piece of tape here. And I want that to make sure that it's coming right off the end of my kite point. So let me cut this just a little bit smaller. I think if I cut it at an angle, I'm gonna get, yep, this is gonna work better. There we go. Then, wobbles. These are really fun. I get these from Amazon. They come, these are the mini wobbles, mini wobble springs, and they come um, 48 to a pack. I will make sure that I put a link to them or at least the name of them on my blog post, and you're gonna find that at the end of the video up in the top right corner. You're gonna be able to click on that. But I'm gonna do my use my take your pick tool I love this tool, I use it for so many things. This will not be the last time in this video that you see me use this, because it is good for everything. It doesn't really matter which side of this wobble you put on your die cut, punched, cut out image. But I like to use my Take Your Pick tool to get this adhesive off, because these are self-adhesive, which makes it really nice. And I just use that tool to pick that off of there. And then I'm going to bring my little kite right up here. You guys wanna see? How fun is it? Oh look, there's a little fly. Look at how cute that is. So everybody loves a card they can play with. And this goes flat so you can mail it. These are super fun. Now what I decided to do 
is grab my mini glue dots. I want to put these little tails on my baker's twine. And I thought, well, how am I going to do that? and keep everything in place. So I decided to roll my mini glue dot up into a little log. And then I'm gonna leave my baker's twine kind of looped in a little loose up there so that it'll wobble. I don't wanna interfere with the wobble mechanism because gosh, that's fun, right? And now I'm just gonna stick this right on the baker's twine. Try to get your finger out of there. Sometimes that can be a little more challenging. And then I've got a putty end on this tool that I'm going to use to place that little tail bow in place. I'm gonna do the same thing with the next one. And I'm just gonna put that in place. Oh my gosh, now there's more. Because I need some embellishments. And I decided to use the Iridescent Rhinestone Basic Jewels because they are my all-time favorite right now. I am just loving these. We can put one on our little kite if we want to. We can pop one down here. And you'll notice that I'm using that Take Your Pick tool again. Like I said, I just use this for so many things. I love this tool. You can get these in my store. How cute is that? And this is the split front card. Okay, now I want a matching envelope. So I have my liquid glue. I'm gonna put it on the flap of my envelope. And then I've got a two and a half by six inch piece of designer series paper here. And I'm just going to trim around the edge of my flap. And now I have an envelope flap that matches my fun little card that says your friendship is so uplifting. I've got one more to share with you, so hang tight. Okay. For this card, I decided to use this pattern of designer series paper. And I have cut this three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a basic white layer that's four by five and a quarter, a half inch strip of basic white. My card base is four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half inches to fold it in half. And then I've got a piece of this designer series paper that is just a half inch strip. We're gonna put that right on the inside of the card and we'll do that right now. And I just thought this was a nice little way to decorate this up. And of course, we've got all these strips of designer paper when we're cutting. So just use them to make things look extra pretty. Okay, so our inside is done. Now, what we're going to do here is we are going to take this designer series paper and we're going to cut it. And remember this template that we have left over from the first card that we made. We can put that right on here. Oops, hang on. And it's gonna be just a little bit bigger because this card is cut a little bit smaller. This layer is cut a little bit smaller. I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm just gonna make a mark on both sides of this. Super simple. In comes our paper trimmer. And I'll cut this. And it's kind of nice having those pencil marks there, right? You don't have to measure this time. We don't have to do anything fancy. We're just cutting the paper. All right, this part I'm gonna put back in my pack of paper. I can use it for something else. If you have any pencil marks left, whoops, now is the time 
to erase them. Be gentle so you don't do what I just did. <laughs> it's not gonna hurt anything, but okay. So we're gonna get this on here and on here. Now, our last card, where did that card go? Right here. Our last card, we had our split front coming down this way, okay? For this card, we're gonna have it going up this way. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to put the tail of my kite right in this area. So I'm going to grab some Memento ink. And our kite tail, let me wash this off first. This is our chamois, this is how I clean my stamps. This is damp and you just rub it back and forth. I love this thing, you're gonna find this in the um, product list on my blog at the end of this video. So if you need to get one, you can do that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Gotta figure out how does this go back on here again. Now I'm gonna use the Memento Black ink. And I want this little tail down here and three of these little bows. I don't want that last one. So I am going to ink this up and then I've got a baby wipe here, and you can do this however it works for you, but I'm gonna kind of push this around my fingernail, and I'm gonna come in here, and I'm gonna clean off this bow tie to make sure that I don't get any ink on there. And then I'm going to stamp this mm, probably about right there. So it's gonna be right in the gap. Okay, as long as we're stamping, let's get that half inch strip out here and we'll stamp our sentiment. I'm gonna make this a birthday card, so that's fun, right? It says another year flies by, happy birthday. Let's see how I can, if I can get this on here straight. I did really good, yay, okay. And I've got a scrap of our designer series paper. This is the sunshine and rainbows. And then I've also got a scrap of this particular pattern. So I'm going to use a different kite this time. And I'm going to stamp this kite in memento black ink. And I'm just going to put it right on these stripes. I thought they would be really fun. And we're going to fussy cut this. And again, super simple to cut out. I'm going to also trim this banner up and I'm gonna leave a little bit of space on this side and flag the end. There we go. that. Now this particular paper has all these clouds on it and if you guys um, look in my online store or look in your catalog we have a cloud punch which is super exciting right? However I am in Florida. I am not home in Wisconsin and I don't have my cloud punch with me. But trust me when I say that our cloud punch will fit right on this paper and punch this out with one quick punch, which is so fun and easy. So I've had to improvise a little bit since I've been here in Florida with, you know, things that I didn't bring along because let's be real, I couldn't bring everything with me. <laughs> so I am just going to cut this out. And again, I kind of like to leave a little bit of a white... Oops, that's a little bit too much. White border around my cloud. Pretty easy. It's easier with the punch. <laughs> that comes highly recommended. And now we're going to grab dimensionals for our banner. 
I'm going to grab a wobble again for my kite. I just love doing stuff like this and the joy that a card brings when it's kind of fun like this and it does something is um, it just makes me happy and I know that the people I send these cards to really enjoy them too. There we go. I'm going to put this right on my kite. Now, I'm going to take my kite. I'm going to bring these back in here. And I'm going to just kind of do a dry fit for right now. I'll nail this down in just a second. Oh my gosh, look how super cute that is. I'm also going to be using my Stampin' Blend markers. This is Pool Party and this is the dark one. And I just wanted to color my little tails. Super easy. And you could color these. I thought about coloring them multiple colors. You could certainly do that. And now we're ready to glue this all together. So this is really easy, especially when you have that template from your first card. I'm gonna leave just a tiny little margin around the outside so I can see that white because this layer is cut just a little bit smaller, whereas our last card, the layer was the same size as the layer underneath. And with this one, we're also not putting the border on the edges in here that we did with the Magenta Madness. And I'll show you both of them in just a second, side by side, so you get that. Okay, here comes my cloud. I'm just gonna take this little cloud and I'm gonna glue it right down in here. Make sure your hearts are right side up, right? If you have some type of definite pattern on your cloud. And here comes our sentiment. And I'm just gonna push that right down here at the bottom of my cloud. Make sure it's straight, super, super cute. Love this. And we're gonna add this to our pool party card base. And then we need some embellishments. So again, I'm going to bring in my iridescent rhinestones. I'm gonna add a big one and a medium one. Where else can I put some? How about a little tiny one right here? Another little medium one right there. And then how about one more big one right over there? So now I've got some cute embellishments. I did make a matching envelope. I already showed you how to do that in case you've not ever made one. So look at this. Isn't this fun? And here's our little wobble. Another year flies by. Happy birthday. And then we've got our other card with our pretty little envelope. And see how this goes up like that. This one comes down like this. I just thought it would be fun to do them both ways. And again, this is the Kite Delight. Now remember, the Sunshine and Rainbow Designer Series paper is one of our celebration products. And what that means is for each $50 that you spend in my online store, you get to choose something for free. This is one of the things that you can choose for free. Now this is only available until Monday, February 28th, then the promotion ends. So make sure you pick up your free stuff when you're placing your order. I've got a brand new host code right here if you're in the United States. I always appreciate your orders. You're going to find a link right up here to join the blog hop. Join the Totally Techniques blog hop. Everybody's making cards with the split front technique. So you're gonna get lots of great ideas with this. And don't forget to click down here to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss anything I have coming out. 
During celebration is the best time to join my team as a discount shopper or a business builder. If you're not getting a discount on your products and you're in the United States, you should really consider this. You get to add two free stamp sets to $125 of any product you want. You get to choose it for only $99, free shipping, and then there's a ton of great benefits that come with being a part of my team and a part of Stampin' Up. So if you have any questions, you're gonna find them all right here on my blog. Look for the link that says $99 kit in the right-hand column. Again, this is my current host code. Only use this if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the code. You're gonna get some benefits from Stampin' Up. They're called rewards and I want you to have them. Thank you so much for joining me for this blog hop today. I hope you've enjoyed these cards. I hope you'll give this a try. It really is quite simple. You're gonna find all the dimensions and downloadable PDFs that you can print out or save to your device for both of these cards on my blog. Also a complete ingredient list to help you know which colors I used and what the names of everything are which is really helpful. Thank you guys so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to spend it with me. Have yourself a fantastic weekend. Bye-bye.